Thanks, Asaf. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I am your host, Scott Ramph. And I'm also your host, Noah McVoy. Uh, thanks, Asaf. That was a great intro. Thank I love you. that. <laughs> I like that little flower you're wearing, too. Yeah. That's very spring like. <laughs> we yes. have a great show for you guys today. We have a bunch of new programs. Um, we have a guest, Nikki yeah, Robb, on the air. And of course, Noel, as always, has events. As always. And, um, yes, and uh, Asaf has musical notes with Asaf. And I look forward to seeing what he's here to talk about. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a Monday. It's going to be. A great show. I'm yeah. thrilled to be here. But it's also going to be a nice, short, compact show. Nice, nice short, Nice, easy, compact. nice, cool. Just nice hang out. Nice, cool. You know, it's chill. Monday. You know, you want to yeah. start off Monday right. You just want it short and <laughs> yes, sweet and to the point. It's yeah. true. Yeah, today I, I'm going to be at MCAT pretty much all day today. Um, Stephen Gluker is going to be coming down here. He's the former uh, curator at the Missoula Art Museum. Yeah. And he's going to be interviewing through uh, Look Before You Speak art show. Um, he's going to invite a guest, and cool. they're going to do talking like that. And then this afternoon, I'm going to be interviewing a whole... Well, I don't know if I'm interviewing people. I don't know who's interviewing who, but there's going to be a whole bunch of interviews I'm going to be shooting this afternoon at MCAT. So. That's great. How long are the interviews going to be? Like uh, 30 minutes? 5 to 10 minutes? Uh, uh, only God knows. Only God knows. <laughs> so, you guys, tune in. <laughs> Ask God. But here's some meteorologists know some weather. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but they can only know so much. Uh, currently, it is 29 degrees outside. Of course, you have today you have a 30% to a 50% chance of snow happening. With it tonight, it's 40% chance of snow. Tuesday, um, I might be losing this voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be fairly sunny by uh, Wednesday. Um, highs into 53, and of course by Thursday you're going to get a high of a 59 degrees. But of course these next couple days are going to be into the high to mid 40s and so on and so forth. And um, how does this uh, look for snow, Noel? It look, it's looking pretty good. So since it's been kind of raining down here, as always, it snows up on the mountains. So if we take a look at our snow report, a whitefish just got four inches of new snow. Wow. Blacktail had zero inches, but they got 72 inches in the past. Or they got two inches in the past 72 hours. So they have something. Snowball got three inches in the past 72 hours. Um, it looks like Lost Trail has got eight inches in the past 72 hours. And Discovery Ski Hill has got three inches in the past 72 hours. Yeah. So we it, still have snow on our mountains. It would be in powder. It would be interesting to even be an employee at the, you know, like your seasoned employee. It's just like, all right, uh, it's been warm outside. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm see you guys later. It's like, it snowed last weekend. Yeah. It's like, really? Oh, I'm back. Well, welcome to Montana. Well, they're probably sad that the ski season is over, you know? Yeah. Because that's what they live for. But it's also like, it's also a tease. It's like, is it over? Can it over? I Are start we... looking for another job right now? Yeah, it's true. Or is this like, I'm kind of like in limbo. Ski you know limbo. I mean? ski, ski, bum, ski bum limbo. So it's yeah, it's uh, apparently it's our new hashtag right now. Yeah. Ski limbo. Hashtag ski limbo. Spring early, like it's a, it's springish. Yeah. Springish. Yeah. It's, but it's still snow in the mountains. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've met people who snow. Oh, I mean, ski and snowboard year round. I know. And find places. They Hike. go hiking and then they just ski it down. I know that's crazy. And then all of a sudden it just becomes mud halfway through. Yeah. yeah. It totally does. Sounds awesome. <laughs> but of course we do have some new programming happening tonight and tomorrow night featuring the presidential lecture seminar. Ooh, Ooh. not just the um, uh, lecture, but we have a seminar. A seminar, Ooh. nice. Ooh. And then of course <laughs> it's the uh, last um, video from the Vienna International Ballet Experience. It's their gala. It's where they're going to be show showing a cornucopia. That's right, cornucopia. Ooh, Ooh. hot of, <laughs> Uh, of, uh, you know, uh, I dances. lost my train of thought. Of dancing. Cor it's no ballet. Of all the dances. Yep. Ooh, you know what? I want, oh, here, go on. Yep. Then I'll. And then we have the song. spelling bee on Tuesday. Uh, we get to see the Missoula County spelling bee and see the two people who get to represent the city uh, of Missoula in the state champ in the state wide um, spelling bee and then beyond that it will be the national spelling bee. Alright kids, so you better represent us well and do unless, amazing. Unless it already happened because we shot this like a month ago. This, we shot this like a month ago and we oh, usually so it might have so, already happened. I know, it might have already yeah, I don't uh, even know. Who knows. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you kids are doing great. <laughs> and of course, Global Public Health as well, uh, wrapping up our new program for the great. next two days. And, awesome. and when we come back, we'll have uh, Nikki Rabon from Bowl for Brains. Even the ability of the trees to absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen should be traded on Wall Street. It's a big issue. Trade in ecological services. And for those of us who've said no, ecological functions are about ecological integrity, the 
response is always, oh, but you'll prevent finances from growing and without growth there won't be development and without development people will stay poor. I always have to remind them people become poor. It is a noun, and it's a firm, usually glazed cotton fabric of plain weave, commonly with a colorful printed design, generally in not fewer than five colors, used for clothing and for interior decoration. Chintz. Chintz. C-H-I-N-T-Z. Chintz. Um, I went through a program called Child Family Health International, and through this program I was with other students who are also from various universities across the U.S. who are all here to um, gain experiences in clinics in both urban and rural settings. And so this is a picture of the other students that were with me in Quito. Hey, we're back here with Nikki Robb, and she's here uh, representing um, the, the Brain Injury, Injury Alliance. Brain, Alliance right? Brain Injury Alliance of Montana. We're actually a statewide alliance, oh. but we're based right here in Missoula. Tiny little office, couple employees. We're, we're right here in Missoula. Nice. So tell us about your organization. So we're actually, like I said, we're a statewide organization, and we help um, to prevent brain, brain injury. We also help caregivers, family members, and victims of brain injury. Uh, we would like to, we always offer support, advocacy, community engagement, and prevention of brain injury. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so then what, what do you guys have going on? So we're about to work on our third annual Bowl for Brainstorm fundraiser. This is our third annual, like I mentioned. Um, we're doing that this year at Five Valleys Bowl, which I'd like to mention, this could be your last chance to come down and bowl at Five Valleys. It is closing. Really? At the end of April, it's closing. Wow. So this could be a great time to come down and wow. join us for Bowl for Brainstorm. Is that the one on Brook Street? Yep, that's right across oh from the gosh. fairgrounds on Brook Street. It'll be closed at the end of the month. That's so heartbreaking. It is, it is. So see, maybe you should come on down and bowl at Bowl for Brainstorm. Yeah. <laughs> so then can you tell us exactly like what the details are of this organization? Or Absolutely. Yeah. So the event is April 2nd. That's this coming Saturday from 11 to 3. You pay $250, you get three games of bowling for up to six people. Nice. We're gonna provide you with lunch, we're giving you beverages, we have a bottomless taco bar, it's gonna be a fantastic meal. Uh, a couple things I would like to mention too, we do have $1,000 to anyone who can bowl a perfect game, so wow. that's kind of a big draw. All you good bowlers out there, come on down and try to get that perfect game, I'd love to see I'm it. Just, I'm yeah. just like imagining like everybody gets a perfect game, you're just like, what do I do? Yeah, yeah, that could be a problem. I think we've tried to... <laughs> We try like to make it so that they'll scenario. split. Okay. If, if there's more than one perfect game, they'll split it. But yeah. I, I'd be hard pressed to see a couple perfect games out of you Missoulians. But if you got it in you, please come down. Yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yes, That'd be awesome. yes. We also have some other fun stuff going on. We're going to have a raffle. We're giving away a Flathead Valley vacation trip, which is going to be super fun. Um, we also got a great silent auction. We've reached out to some local artists who have decorated bowling pins and painted them for us. We're going to raffle those off. So. It's going to be a really fun day. Cool. Mm -hmm. That sounds awesome. Yeah. And cool. so what time does it start? So it starts at 11, but like I mentioned, this is three games of bowling. So if you want to bowl from 12 to 2 or 12 to 3, come on down at 12. But we start at 11. Uh, the silent auction is going to close about 2.15. So if you want to get down there and bid on some of the great items we have and uh, be there first in advance and you want to come about 11. But we'll be wrapping it up about 3 o'clock. Awesome. Cool. Great. Yeah. Great. Is there anything else you can tell us? Yeah, where can us? people find more information? Yeah. There you go, more information. You can always log on to www.biamt.org, or you can call us at the Brain Injury Alliance in Montana at 541-6442. Right, cool. Perfect, great. Thanks. Is there anything else? Nope. I, um, I think that's it. No, it sounds like we might have some new bowlers, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> we're coming out. That sounds awesome. So when and where, one more time. Uh, so again, the event is April 2nd. 
That's this Saturday from 11 to 3 p.m. at Five Valleys Bowling. That's right across from the fairgrounds. And there's still lanes available, so get a hold of us and come on down and bowl. Awesome. Thank you very much, Nikki. Thanks for having me, you guys. Be right back after this. No matter what you're planning, if you plan to drink, plan to have a friend get you home. Get ride home ideas and tools at plantolive.mt.gov. Birthdays come and go, each year adding up to a lifetime full of extraordinary moments. At Missoula Aging Services, we promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults. We are ready to help connect seniors to the help they need. Knowing you've got friends to support you, each birthday can be special. See how we can help. Call 728-7682 or log on to MissoulaAgingServices.org. Hey, welcome Hi, back, everybody. What's up? We're back. Here we are. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Okay, so I think that it's events time. Yeah, time for some so events So now we're time. going to my camera. Your camera. All right, good morning. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Okay, so as always, Monday really doesn't have much going on. Tuesday doesn't really either. So uh, this is what you guys can do for the beginning of your week. Oh, man. It's really close up. Okay, <laughs> you had so. too much headroom. I had to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, they have got their annual Library Peeps Show Contest. Uh, this is where you can make a diorama, that, a shoebox-sized diorama using the popular marshmallow treat, Peeps, and you can bring it to the library. So you can enter to win a popular vote. Contest starts today and the deadline is April 5th. So from today until April 5th, for an entire week, make your Peeps diorama and just bring it into the public library and then you can have it judged and maybe you win something. And if you don't win anything, then you can at least be glad that you were creative and had a lot of fun. Uh, over at Alpine Physical Fitness at 10.30 a.m., this is located at 2965 Stockyard Road. They're having their intermediate and advanced Pilates reformer. Over at Roots Acro Sports Center at 11, they have preschool play group. This is for ages walking to five years. They set up different activities and stations around the gym, and the parents and children rotate and choose what they want to do. Uh, over at Montgomery Distil Distillery, they have got their Moscow Monday, so a dollar from each cocktail sold goes to a different nonprofit in the area. And then over at the Senior Center, also at 1 p.m., they've got their Bridge Group. This is the Beginner's Brush Up Group. And then uh, the more advanced Bridge Group participants happen later in the week. Or, you know, games, whatever. Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got their Electronics Exploration starting at 3. And then uh, over at the warehouse mall, there's this thing called The Base, and this is an a open, uh, it's, it's like a space for creative word development. So they have this community event called Word Play. Starts at 4 p.m. And so they're pretty much doing word games, poetic exploration, free writing, and expansion uh, through sharing. Yeah, so the base is located at the warehouse mall. It's on the north end of the building. It's in suite four, but it's not well marked. So you just go through the main door, walk past the plants, turn right at garage tees, and straight back you'll find chalkboards and a door at the base. Perfect. Top Hat Lounge has Raising the Dead. This is live recorded shows of the Grateful Dead from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And then over at Plunk, starting at six, is Service Industry Night. And then at the Missoula Public Library at 6, they've got internet searching class. So if you want to learn how to use the internet more effectively, uh, call 721-2665. And that's at 6 p.m. this evening. Over the UC Theater at the University at 7, there is a screening and discussion of the film People of a Feather. And so it's about a documentary that depicts the relationship between the Inuit, Inuit on the Belcher Islands of Canada's Hudson Bay um, and the eider duck upon which the Inuit depend to survive and so both of them are threatened by the development of massive hydroelectric dams do they flock together i think so <laughs> birds of a feather okay now we've got some music mr bill and kj kj sawaka saka <laughs> I don't know. There's Zaka. Some, there's some DJs. Their DJs are going to be at stage 112 at 8 p.m., uh, 15 bucks. And then over at 
The Badlander is Blues Monday at $9 for free. So that's what's going on on Monday in your community events, as always. Uh, here's a Seth segment. This is going to be kind of a fun segment here. This woman that is going to be our guest today, she is considered legend. She's been on television shows like Star Trek Voyager with Captain Janeway <laughs> and a bunch of other shows. And of course, we're talking about Amelia Mary Earhart, known to the world as Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart was an American aviator, pioneer, and author. She's the first female aviator to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. She has received the U.S. Distinction Flying Cross for this record, and she's set many other records I wouldn't even be able to mention. She's had some best-selling books in her time, you know, about her flying experiences. And Noel, this might interest you. She also formed what's called the 99s, which is an organization of female pilots. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. And now let's catch her in action with that video here. Most famous female pilot in history. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the life and accomplishments of Amelia Earhart. Born July 24, 1897 in Atchison, Kansas, Earhart first became interested in air travel after witnessing a flying exhibition by an ace pilot in her late teens. In 1920, she and her father took a trip to an airfield for a 10-minute flight. Following this, she took odd jobs to earn the money to pay for flying lessons, which she finally began on January 3, 1921. To fit in with other... So this here, this video is a combination of the real Amelia Earhart, and I think they combined footage from the Hilary Swank movie here. But this was her. Now she was born in in 1897, and she just comes from a modest family, and she's the first person to ever attempt to fly literally around the world, and that's when disaster struck. Um, her first attempt, she only got probably like across the United States in her first attempt to go around the world and that was back in 1937 and then she tried a, sh a short time after that and they declared her missing at the age of 39 in 1937. She married in 1931 a guy named George Putnam who supported her efforts and when she came up missing they didn't declare her legally lost until a few years later because they sent search parties out looking for her and they were never able to find her. So finally in 1939, at the age of 41, that's when they declared her officially missing. So from 1937 to 1939, they were frantically looking for this lady. But she left a great legacy as far as um, groundbreaking achievements for being the first female pilot, opening doors for other female pilots and just trying to fly around the world and setting records and of course, in 2016, we can do that now. Mm -hmm. But it was very groundbreaking at that time. So that's my tribute to Amelia Earhart. <clears throat> nice. Thanks, Asaph. Sure. So um, well, what made you want to choose Amelia Earhart? I just wanted to, uh, you know, every once in a while, when you guys invited me to do the show, I might do a music person or an actor or an artist, but I wanted to do something totally different. Mm -hmm. And I was messing around on the computer last night, and her name popped up, you know, on the you know, on the side when they have like relative videos and mm -hmm. things like that, and I thought, there's my story. Cool. Nice, that sounds good. Great. Cool, Thank thanks Asaf. Sure. That was Musical Notes with Asaf out of nine. And Ooh. here's an art clip happening in Missoula. <laughs>
that will be at the Missoula Art Museum until May. All right. Now, we've got things going on on Tuesday. So this is what's happening in your community tomorrow. Starting at 7 a.m., we're starting a little early tomorrow, is uh, Strength and Conditioning with Coraline over at Alpine Physical Therapy, 2965 Stockyard Road. Um, and then we head over to, at 9, 8, 9 a.m., we go over to Kearns Aquatic Center. They've got their winter walking tours. They're going to Tower Street, so if you just meet there at 9, it's only 5 bucks, and they all, I don't know if they load into vans or whatever, but they go over there and they walk around for a few hours. Yeah, it's, it's good to get out there. Um, over the Missoula Art Museum, they have a art show called Hellgate's Finest Art. And so this art show features artwork from all students at Hellgate High School. Um, not all students, but students in every grade level. Um, and it doesn't say how long that'll be open, but that starts tomorrow at 10. And then over at the Lifelong Learning Center is uh, using Windows 10 class. So at 10 a.m., you can learn how to use Windows 10. Nice. Yeah, great. <laughs> Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got open hours in the makerspace at 10 a.m. also. So from 10 to 6, all day long, you go in there and work on a project of your choice or learn how to use their equipment. Um, Tiny Tales is at the Missoula Public Library at 10.30. This is for babies ages birth through three years to sing songs and learn nursery rhymes and finger plays and stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds crazy. It sounds insane. Uh, Elephant Toothpaste is at the Children Children's Museum of Missoula at 11. And that it's caught a me. science experiment. Elephant Toothpaste. Children's Museum. Yeah, at 11. Great. Uh, Shoot the Bull Toastmasters is at the Alps Boardroom at noon. Toastmasters Club is a lively discussion and you, just like a support group pretty much that helps you uh, improve your public speaking skills and it gives you feedback and helps you be more confident. Over at the Learning Center at Red Willow at 4, they've got Yoga Warriors. This is a specific yoga program designed for war, uh, veterans and their families to help with PTSD, anxiety, and sleeping problems. DraftWorks Brewing Company has Cheers for Charity. 50 cents from each pint sold will go to the Boys and Girls Club of Missoula. Picking Circles at the Top Hat Lounge at 6. This is for bluegrass-oriented musicians to go down there and jam out. Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got the Community Creative Writing Workshop at 6, so 6 to 7.30. You can drop in there and, uh, you know, just write better. Write gooder. I'm just kidding. You can learn how to write better. Boo. I know, it's a hilarious <laughs> joke. Uh, over at Taste Buds Kitchen, they have got a Knife Skills Adult Cooking, wor cooking Workshop. So, uh, if you want to sharpen up on your knife skills, you can go in there and uh, learn how to do that. That starts at 6 tomorrow. And then uh, at 6.30 at the Good Food Store, they have a cooking class as well, and they're doing hands-on ramen. That is $35. System Check is at the Missoula Public Library at 6.30. This is the official gamers club for ages 19 and younger. They've got all the games you could want. They've got board games, card games, video games, great games. But no gambling, everyone. Nope. Unless you're 18, maybe you can. No, it's still kind of illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Over at the Wilma Theater, tell us something is happening at 7 p.m. The, uh, uh, the event is only $5, and the theme is Why Didn't Anyone Tell Me? Why didn't anyone tell me? I know. Why? <laughs> <laughs> you can find out about, uh, more information about Tell Us Something um, on Facebook, or I think they have a Tell Us Something website, too. But if you type it in Google, you can find out more information about Tell us about something it. Yeah. Over the Missoula Senior Center, they've got an African dance class. This is with uh, instructor Tarn Reem and live musicians. It's $35 for four weeks or $10 to drop in, and it starts at 7. And then my last event for Tuesday is a Missoula Music Showcase at the Badlander at 9 p.m. That's what's going on in your community. As always, you can check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, yep. The Independent, and The Newspaper. But also you can log on to our website by logging oh. on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com oh, slash wakeupmissoula that's to find out more information and it'll watch interviews including with uh, Asia from last Friday. And of uh -huh. course you can watch Nikki Robb's um, um, interview t from today. Um, you can go to our Facebook page, Wake Up Missoula. You can also go to our uh, Twitter page at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can check us out on Facebook. And to find out more information about MCAT, just look us up on MCAT.org. Yep. So you're doing the uh, Tell Us Something. I am. This, I'm filming Tell Us Something. This tomorrow. Tomorrow. This tomorrow. I don't this know. Who tomorrow. Said, this tomorrow. No one actually says then that. Tomorrow. That's the, 
tomorrow. That tomorrow. Or you don't even have to say this. You say, so you film this event tomorrow. Or yes. You yes. film it tomorrow. I'm very excited because I haven't been able to go to a tell us something, and I basically am going to get paid to like film listen it. to stories. It's great. And film it. I'm very, very excited. It's going to be exciting. I know. Well, and, and then Ron is our videographer, and he sets up all of our shoots for us. Yeah, he's the uh, the Meg coordinator. Meg so he works with all nonprofits. And if mm -hmm. you're interested in getting in touch with him or filling out your own form, you can go to MCAT.org. Yep. And it's under forms, and you go to Media Assistant Grant Application. And it takes you to a thing and it explains to you what it is and what it's for and how you can be qualified to be part of this for yeah. MCAT to go and shoot your own stuff. It's great. But when Ron was telling me that I, you know, asked me if I wanted to do a shoot, he didn't even say it was tell us something. Oh. And then he was like, oh, it's it's just tell us something. I was like, what? Yes, of course I'll do it. It's tell us something. Like, yeah. that's the that's the shoot you want. <laughs> he asked me to do it. Something. I'm just like, Ron, I have to be at MCAT. Like, yeah. Joel, Joel's like here alone enough as is. Yeah. Call me. So I'm very excited. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, how but was you, your weekend, Scott? Uh, my weekend was pretty good. Um, yeah. I didn't do anything as much as I wanted to. Of course, it was Easter, so mm -hmm. I went over to my parents' place and hit Had eggs for my um, nieces and nephews was as that they wandered nice? around. Was it cute? Yeah. Oh, I bet that was cute. That's <laughs> the awesome. eggs were like hidden in plain sight. It's like, yeah, hey, hey. Hey, it's right there. It's right there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, 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 nah. She's like oh, two man. and yeah. one. Oh, cute little muffins. What are their names? Kai and Danica. Aw, Danica is a nice name. Danica is a nice name, but I went to school with a girl named Danica who had three different kids from three different dads, so. Oh, so. Oh, yeah, good thing I didn't mention that before they named the kid. Yeah. <laughs> I told her after the fact, but it was like, it's well, too late by then. you'll just have to be a positive influence on Danica. I will teach her all the bad swear words and. Make her, so then she'll just push away men and not even get pregnant at all. <laughs> good thinking, Scott. Good thinking. <laughs> oh, man. If she takes anything after me, then she'll definitely chase away all the opposite sex. All opposite sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very surly, and, I, and I'm very He's me. He's very bitter. I'm very me. Yes, you are. I'm too much of me that You're anyone totally can handle. You're totally you. I'm totally me. <laughs> Sometimes I like to think to myself, man, I'm so raven. <laughs> <laughs> but other times, I just like to think of myself, um, Tyler Perry's Why Did I Get Married? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I do want to have a chance to turn around this show I for the next too. half of the yes. hour. So, so we're, um, we're out of here, you guys. Thanks yeah. for being with us on this Monday show. It was a short show, but as always, a fantastic show. Yes. So, for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Noah McFoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. Here's ASAF.